Hello everyone. In this section, we're gonna discuss about language disorder. Language disorders are disorders that may be experienced involving grammar, language meaning, and other aspects of language. A language disorder is one that affects the expression or reception of ideas and feelings, potentially including such problems as reduced vocabulary, omissions of articles and modifiers, understanding of nouns but not verbs, difficulties following oral in instruction, and syntactical error. There are several types of language disorders that occur in children. First, when a child faces difficulty in understanding what is communicated through language, it is called receptive language disorder. Children with receptive challenges will usually show this difficulty before the age of four. Receptive difficulties may be observed where a child does not properly understand spoken communication direct at or around them. In such cases, children struggle to understand spoken conversation or instruction direct around them. Likewise, written words may be difficult to process and simple gestures of coming going or sitting still are also difficult to understand. Second, a language disorder that occurs when children are unable to regulate their thoughts, ideas, and feelings using language is known as expressive language disorder. Children with expressive disorders will find it difficult to name objects, tell stories, or make gestures to communicate something. This disorder can cause difficulty in asking or answering questions and can lead to the use of inappropriate grammar when communicating. Uh, expressive language disorder is common in school age children. However, a child with this disorder may, be, may have the normal language skill needed to understand verbal or written communication. However, some children have a mixed receptive expressive language disorder in which they have symptoms of both types of disorders. A child with a language disorder has one or more symptoms that can range from mild to severe. Children with receptive language disorders have difficulty understanding what others are saying, have trouble following directions spoken to them, and have trouble organizing their thoughts. While children with expressive language disorders have difficulty putting words into sentences or the sentences may be simple and short and the word order may be incorrect. They also have difficulty finding the right words when speaking and often use substitute words such as m, mm, hm, and etc. Uh, has a vocabulary that is below the level of other children his age, uses certain phrases repeatedly, and uses sentences like past, present, future inappropriately. Language disorder can occur in children with other developmental problems, autism, spectrum disorders, and hearing loss, and can also be caused by damage to the central nervous system. Here are some causes of language disorders. First, sensory impairments. Sensory impairments are divided into two types namely blindness and deafness. Deaf blindness is a combination of sight and hearing loss that affects a person's ability to communicate, access information, and get around. It's also sometimes called dual sensory loss or multisensory impairment. The second is apraxia. Apraxia is a nervous disorder that attacks the motor system that causes muscles to be unable to receive brain commands properly. Generally, apraxia attacks the muscles around the face and mouth area, making it difficult for sufferers to perform certain movements such as whistling, hugging, licking their lips, taking out their tongue, or even speaking. And the third is autism. Autism is a pervasive developmental disorder characterized by delays and disturbances in cognitive behavioral, communication or language, and social interactions. From the explanation above, 
it can be concluded that language disorders occur if a person's communication deviates far from the language used by normal children. The causes of language disorders are many and extensive. This can be caused by a disturbance in the nervous system or abnormalities in the organs associated with the language process. One of the symptoms in children with language and speech disorders is that there are pronunciation errors both in the movement mechanism of the articulation point and in the pronunciation. Uh, that's all our discussion today. Uh, thank you.